So here's my question to you on this Sports Hour edition of Alex Kara Podcasting, okay? Here's my question to you. Should the Mets Rafters be renamed Willie, Jackie, and the Gill? <laughs> Think of that. The three classics of 50s, 40s New York City baseball are now enshrined atop City Hall, uh, City Field, and enshrined in the Mets lore forever as they're all retired now. Here's the cool part about the Mets, right? So in 1962, Joan Pazer, after voting no as a member of the ownership of the New York Giants, voting no to move them to San Francisco, well, she picked up and owned the Mets from 1962 to 1962. 75. And one of her last wishes was that the Mets would retire. Willie Mazes, number 24, as soon as he called it quits from the game. Because she was so enamored with him as a player, as a person, when he was a New York Giant, and of course San Francisco. That when he came back to them to New York City to play for the Mets, that was her promise. It took multiple hands of ownership until Steve Cohen, to make it a reality. Because of the old-timers game last night, they announced Willie Mays will forever be enshrined and retired his number 24 in the rafters of City Field. Gotta love that kind of moment and mystique. And how cool it is it now? You've got the cornerstones of the Dodgers and the Mets uh, and the Giants. The two teams whose colors made up the Mets, orange and blue. Now the two biggest figures of those teams, Jackie Robinson and Willie Mays, are forever retired. Kudos to Steve Cohen. Kudos to Jay Horowitz, who continues to produce these retirement ceremonies and surprise retirement ceremonies left and right. And then today, to finalize this series, I got a chance to catch up with... Rockies play-by-play guy Jerry Skemmel outside City Field. Here's how that conversation went. Well, it's finally happened. I'm meeting Jerry Skemmel outside of City Field as the Rockies and the Mets take on each other for game number four. Jerry, first of all, thanks for doing this today. Uh, you're very welcome. Good to be here, my man. So, last time we talked, we talked about the beginning of the season. You were just getting back in the booth. How's it been? You know, it's been a rough go for the, for the Rockies this year. We thought we might be a little better than we were. I mean, it's always fun, Alex, because it's baseball. It's more fun when your team's winning. But, you know, we're I think we're 20 games under 500 right now going this game four today. And it's and been Chris, fun, but it's been tough. Chris Bryant's not been healthy. We right. were hoping he would be. Um, but I want to talk about you for a minute because there were a couple things since we last talked that I realized you had survived a major, massive crash. Talk about that for a second, because yeah. I didn't get to that on the last podcast. Yeah, we all have our plane crashes. You have yours, I know that too. So, yeah, a long time ago, 33 plus years ago now, the crash United Airlines Flight 232 in Sioux City, Iowa, where 112 people died. Now, 100, 162 of us survived, but it was a pretty major tragedy. And, the and plane, you've adapted, man. You're doing yeah. you know, biking, you're doing all the athletic yeah. stuff, huh? Yeah, yeah. You know, you, you get life given back to you, Alex. You get a second chance at life. You just try to live it to your best, and I've tried to do those kinds of things, especially on a bicycle. All right, Rocky fans may not know. If they don't follow you yet, they should. You have a new book out, too. Talk about that for a second. Yeah, yeah. I've got a couple different books. One is called Chosen to Live, which is uh, the story about the plane crash and life subsequent to that. And then I have another one called The Extravagant Gift. And it's just an evangelical uh, booklet that people can give to people that has worked really well for me. Now, one thing about this Mets uh, Rocky series, as you know, the Rockies played their first game here at Shea Stadium 30 years ago. My dad took me to that game. No way. So, and then we went out to my, uh, Colorado to play the Expo. So there's some history there. So. Maybe for 30 years, I gotta get back out there. Huh? <laughs> yeah, it's a great place. I think from 30 years ago, it was probably Mile High Stadium. That's now right. It's, now yeah. it's Coors yeah. Field, which is a beautiful place, Alex. You and they used to share the field with the Broncos, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, right? they sure did. Yep. All right, Jerry. Well, is there any hope for Rocky fans to look forward to the rest of the year? Like, 
Yeah, player-wise? Probably not. You know, I think we're pretty much out of it right now. There's, what, 34 games to go, something like that. And, and I think there's 13 games out of the wild card spot. So probably not a lot of hope. There are some good things happening with the Rockies. Brendan Rodgers set a phenomenal year, probably the best second baseman offensively in baseball. So we got some things to build on. Hopefully next year we'll be done. All right, Jerry. Well, thank you so much. And uh, have a great day today. Okay? All right, Alex. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. And of course, of course, the Rockies won. Won nothing. Maybe a nice little streak going into Atlanta could help the Mets now, if you ask me. Until then, I'm Alex Garrett. Thanks again, Jerry, for taking time outside City Field to join. And uh, again, we'll see what they do in Atlanta. But one more final thought. Serena Williams competes in round one of the 2022 U.S. Open. And Open, she says, is her last can she do it one more time before retirement? Every game point, every set point, every match point tonight against Danka Ivanovic. I think a lot of eyes will be on this match for sure. Center Court, Arthur Ashe Stadium, U.S. Open tonight. Hope you tune in. We'll talk to you soon. <laughs>